Shalom Aleichem to our students at Paul, or Chaim El Panach, Paul as well. I hope everyone is getting ready for Pesach. So I just finished a uh, Rebbe Tish that we have from time to time. A big thank you to Rabbi Noam Horowitz, who uh, organizes these uh, Tishes. And at the Rebbe Tish, uh, there are a number of Rebbeim and faculty members who are joining. And uh, I have a big Akaras Tov and a thank you to Mr. Rapp for pointing out to, to the group something that I never really noticed. When you look at the Torah uh, and Parsha Bo, so Moshe is given warning as to what exactly is going to happen, when it's going to happen. Kresh Baruch comes to Moshe and he says, Right, I'm going to bring one more plague, Maka Pachorot is going to come, and after Maka Pachorot, then I'm going to send the Jewish people out of Mitzrayim. And he continues and he finishes off uh, the Pasuk. But yet, when you look at the events as they actually transpire, so we are told that Again, Maka Bechora happens, and it's almost like the Jewish people are shocked, and and uh, and they they're running out, right? You know, the uh, just reading the English, they baked the matzahs, and, and and they left Mitzrayim. They were driven out of Mitzrayim. They could not delay. They had no time to repair. Uh, for the journey. What do you mean they had no time prepared for the journey? Kosh Baruch Hu gave Moshe a heads up. God told Moshe exactly what was going to happen. And it almost seems like Moshe deliberately withheld this information. Why didn't Moshe share with the Jewish people so they could be well prepared and they could know exactly what to expect? As soon as Maka Pachor would be finished, they would go. They would leave Mitzrayim. They would be ready to go. They wouldn't have to make matzahs. The whole holiday would be different. There would be no Bechipa zone. There would be no urgency associated with it. Why did Moshe withhold the information? So I think there are lots of answers you could give, and I've been thinking about it since it was posed, uh, the question, but I think you could perhaps answer it when you look very closely at a famous Rashi in the same Parsha, Parsha Bo, focused on this last Maka, and a beautiful message for all of us before Pesach. When the Torah tells us, Vayomer Moshe, he comes to the Jewish people, and he says, Ko Amar Hashem, Around midnight, I'm going to go out and perform Maka Bechorot. So, of course, Rashi comments, very famous, Rashi, why did Moshe use the term Kachat Sot Halayla if later on it says, Vayhi Bachat Si Halayla, at exactly midnight? If it was going to be at exactly midnight, then why did Moshe say around midnight? And Rashi tells us, Velo Amar Bachat Sot Shema Yitu At Dagnine Paro Moshe Badaihu. He didn't say that it was exactly midnight because he didn't want the astrologers of power to say Moshe's a liar. Now, come on. This is ridiculous. Moshe had said there'd be Mako, there were Mako. Exactly as he said it would happen, it would happen. Every step of the way, Dams, Farday, Akinim, now comes Maka Bechoro, and they're looking at their watches. And instead of looking at their watches, they're looking at their sundials, and they're trying to figure out the time. And they're going to say, oh, wait a second. It's a minute before, or it's a minute after, Moshe's a liar. No, they're not going to say Moshe's a liar. Instead, they're going to say that their clocks are wrong. They're going to say that their ability to tell time and know exactly when it's midnight, they're off a tad. It's not exact. It's not 100%. Why is Rashi assuming that they're going to say Moshe's a liar? So I think perhaps because Rashi's very astute as to human nature. And human nature is such that any time that we can be cynical, we can be critical, we can find fault, we will look for those opportunities to find fault. Any time that we have the ability to say, he did something wrong, she did something wrong, it's not the way we expected. Expectations and reality. I expected this and the reality is that. I thought it would be this way, it was really that way. I get so frustrated, so annoyed, so upset. How could you? Almost like criminal. Rashi understands that's human nature. And maybe that answers our first question. May, perhaps, let's think about it for a minute. Maybe the reason the motion didn't give the Jewish people a heads up as to exactly what was happening and when it would happen is he was nervous that maybe it would be a delayed attack or maybe it wouldn't happen at the exact moment or maybe they might think that it was slightly off or they might misunderstand or mishear. And if they set expectations in a certain way and then the expectations are unfulfilled, and Moshe sets the expectation that it's one more maka and then we're going right out. And it doesn't happen exactly the way he presents it. Then perhaps the Jewish people will be so frustrated that all the miracles and all the greatness and all the maka and everything that HaKadosh Baruch Hu did, all the goodness, will go out the window 
because the expectation isn't met with the reality. And, and I think it's it's true. It was true back in Mitzrayim. I think it's true today. I think it's human nature. I think it's the culture around us. But perhaps there's something we could learn from it, the context of patience and understanding and recognizing that not every expectation is fulfilled in the absolute perfect way, but yet we try our best. And to think that Itzdagnini Paro would say Moshe Badai, who after Moshe had been so on target, demonstrates and shows the extent to which people will go to find fault with others. Maybe as we think about Pesach, we get ready for an exciting yantif, spending time with family, we reflect upon all the positive in our life, all the blessings we have, all the goodness that exists, and we try our best to be appreciative for all the blessings that Akash Baruch Hu has given us. Please, God, it should be a yantif filled with simcha, joy, health, and happiness to all. And we are looking forward to seeing all of you back in school right after Chag. And with Akash Baruch Hu's help, we should continue to be in school together until graduation. Chag Kasha to you all.